Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I released iOS 26 developer beta 5 that I have here on my iPhone 16 Pro Max to show you all the new changes. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the build number and the update size. The build number is 23A5308G and the update size was about 11.39 gigabytes on the 16 Pro Max. And now let's take a look at the new features. The first change is the new unlocking keypad animation. So for example, if your face ID didn't work or you restarted your phone, you will see a new animation when the keypad expands. So let me show you how it looks one more time. As you see, the numbers populate in a bouncy way. The second change is the locking animation is also different. Look at the home screen icons when I press on the power button to lock the phone. They head towards me before going to the always on display. So let me show you this one last time. I also spotted two new changes under the customize page. So let me show you how they look. The first one is related to the clock. When you tap on the language, this overlay card is much smaller than the previous one, plus it supports scrolling, which wasn't the case before. And the last change under the lock screen is in the widget speaker. Now when you try to dismiss it, as you see, it looks a lot more bouncy than the previous versions. Moving to the home screen, and the first change is the slightly thicker dock. And I took screenshot from beta 4 and beta 5. This is beta 4. And when I switch to beta 5, you will see it's slightly thicker than the previous one. The second change, when you customize your home screen like this and then go to tinted, now you will see a white circle around the selected color option, which wasn't the case before. Moving to the spotlight search, I think there are two new changes, but I'm not 100% sure, so please let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. The first change is when you tap while having the search bar empty, you get this new overlay giving you the option to use the writing tools or you can tap on autofill and this one will allow you to scan text using the camera. The second change is related to the animation. This is the first time to see this new animation when I drag my finger over the search bar. Also when I tap on it like this, as you see, it's glowing using the same colors of my wallpaper. So that's it when it comes to the home screen. Now let's talk about the control center. And the first change is the controls stretch when you pull the control center further down like this. Plus when you scroll between pages, you see this new bounce at the end of your scrolling. And when you tap and hold on the Wi-Fi toggle to expand the available networks, now you will see a small lock in the Wi-Fi glyph icon to let you know which network is password protected and which one is not. And lastly, the local capture option got a brand new glyph icon and when you tap and hold on it, you will see an updated overlay card with a new option to record audio only and the description says call audio and video will be saved to downloads. Now let's talk about the app specific changes and I will start with the camera. The first change is the more bouncy animations when you expand and collapse the menus. And this is the trend with developer beta 5 and you will see this across all apps. Now let's move to the video tab to show you even more changes. Now when you expand the camera settings you will see things are slightly different here. The format option is now called ProRes and here you have three choices of Log and HDR. While previously we used to have HEVC, ProRes Log and the ProRes HDR. And when you choose any of the Log or HDR options at the top right corner, you will see the format and also the time remaining based on your available storage. And lastly, now you have the option to reverse the scrolling direction of the camera modes. As you see now, when I swipe right, it goes right and when I swipe left, it goes left. But if you want to reverse this option, all you need to do is to go to the camera settings, scroll all the way down and you will see the classic mode switching. When you turn on the switch, now things will be reversed. Now let's talk about the new changes in Apple Photos. Like all other apps, it got some new animations. So look at the controls at the bottom and how they animate when I tap somewhere on the photo to dismiss. As you see, it animates 
like liquid. Plus the date is now surrounded with a container which makes the text more visible. And when you tap on the delete button, now you will see a narrower and taller overlay card. Moving to the search, I spotted one new visual change. When you search for anything, you will notice here that the photos and collections tabs at the top have a different design, which looks much better in my opinion. So that's it with Apple Photos. Now let's talk about the new changes in visual intelligence. So I'm gonna take a screenshot of this video thumbnail and you'll notice here that the glyph icon next to highlight to search is now animated. Plus when I highlight anything on the screen, you will see that the visual matches card now looks different. It has an oval design instead of the rounded rectangle right, like before. Plus it's using a light color instead of the dark color of the previous versions. And here I also have this new icon that looks like Apple's writing tools, but unfortunately it doesn't do anything when I tap on it, it just cancels my search. And the last change is related to the add to calendar shortcut. So for example, I have a date in this screenshot. So when I highlight the date like this, you will see here that the add to calendar option is now smaller. And when I tap on it, I'm getting a different design for the overlay card. First, it has a light color and the date is written in a different format and overall it looks totally different. Moving to Apple Messages, in the previous betas of iOS 26, swiping down on your messages list used to reveal the change name and photo option, which is no longer the case. And now your only way to access it is by tapping on the edit button like this. Moving to Safari in developer beta 5, when you go to the old tabs page, you will notice here that the tab groups switcher at the bottom shrinks into two options only after a few seconds. But once you go to another group like this, it will revert back to the same three options like before. Moving to Apple Music, when you start scrolling like this, the tab bar at the bottom disappears, same as all the previous betas of iOS 26. But what's different here is when you scroll back up, it remains hidden unlike before. But if you want to reveal the tab bar at the bottom one more time, you have to scroll all the way up like this. So these are all the new changes I spotted in apps. Now let me show you some random tweaks here and there. And the first one is the new low battery pop-ups in the dynamic island as shared on Reddit by some users. I didn't have the chance to try this feature because I'm not yet in low power mode. As you see, when your battery goes below 20%, it will show you this pop-up in the dynamic island. And here's how it looks when you have the low power mode activated. The airdrop feature also got one small change. Now when you try to share anything like this photo, for example, you will see a brand new icon in the share sheet. But it seems like this is the only place where you will find this new icon because it looks exactly the same under setting. And lastly, the game mode notification got a new design. So these are all the new changes and features I spotted in iOS 26 developer beta 5. And when it comes to the performance and thermals, it's definitely so much better when compared to the previous betas. It's more fluid, it's responsive, and the UI issues I came across are very, very minor and the phone doesn't get as warm as before, but it's still not perfect. I think the phone is consuming more batteries than, than usual, but it's definitely much better than the previous betas. And if you spotted any new feature that I didn't mention in this video, please let me know in the comments. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.